Hello guys, welcome in Cool IT Help. I hope you guys are doing well. So this is the tutorial for uh, a pie chart. In uh, we're going to learn to create a pie chart on the Google spreadsheets. To do this, you guys have to log in in your Gmail account, then follow this URL, and then you will see this page. So before proceeding, guys, I have a request. If you think this video is useful, so please do like and share with your friends and if you want such more useful videos on my channel so please subscribe my channel also press this notification bell icon to get the latest video updates okay guys let's get started okay once you uh, see this page and there's a button big button go to google sheets so just click on it and you will be redirected to the spreadsheet okay so the place right here we have this uh, plus button so just click on it so this will uh, create a blank spreadsheet for you so you will write in there uh, there's a spreadsheet okay so some uh, for the demonstration we have to prepare some data so I am taking example like a student has a scored uh, marks in various subjects so I am uh, creating the data for the same okay so just making the list like maths physics biology and english and another one is geology history so the scored marks are 56, 75, 20, 56. Oh, you can take uh, 45. Okay, no problem. And in the geology, he scored marks uh, 43. And in the history, we have 23 marks only okay now we have to create so uh, we have to place our cursor at this place and just drag and select all these two columns and uh, you have to go uh, to the insert menu on the top and in the drop down you have to click on this to click you will see this option so a uh, a bar graph will appear but we have to create the pie chart so go to the right hand side and uh, the chart type drop down you, once you click you will see the pie chart we have selected the pie chart now and our bar chart converted to the pie chart and you can see this is the very uh, awesome graphical representation of our data and the subjects and the marks are appearing also uh, in the pie chart we can uh, have choice like uh, donut hole so once you select uh, the percentage so that will uh, place a hole in this pie chart so we have a choice to customize our pie chart on uh, our requirement so you guys can do a lot more experiment with this also you can change the border color from this place also there's a label values like uh, you get the slice label okay uh, slice means the section uh, that is representing our data also we can set the format this is we can set our text to italic label text to italic also we can change the font type of our uh, labels and also we can change the text color of labels as well so we have lots of uh, customization option in this right hand side for uh, our pie chart also going to change the color of the text okay so this was the setting inside the customize option for the pie chart okay so I'm closing this now I'm moving to the next so here is the properties for the uh, slices that means whatever the subjects uh, representation we are doing here so the each slice representing a subject okay so for the slice customization we have a, fa a facility of a fa a facility so you can change the color of uh, the uh, math section physics section history geology english and biology also you can uh, 
change this uh, legends that means that is representing our subjects means which section color is representing which subject so we have a choice to set on the left hand side right hand side and at the bottom of the pie chart also you can change the legend font legend color legend text type Okay, guys, so these are the uh, very useful properties uh, to customize our pie chart. Okay, so this time this is uh, showing 2D pie chart. Okay, now we will change it to the 3D pie chart. Okay, so what we have to do, you have to click on these three dots to edit the pie chart. Okay, property window will appear on the right hand side. And we can uh, choose for the customization we can choose the properties for the customization okay so now again i'm going to edit this pie chart so here we go on the right hand side we're getting this property window now do the, click on the drop down and uh, we are looking for yeah here it is my 3d pie chart so just click on it so our 2d pie chart will convert into 3d pie chart so here we go okay guys uh, you can see this is looking uh, pretty awesome. It's very beautiful. Uh, the representation is very cool. So also guys, the same properties uh, will be applicable here. You can uh, change uh, as per your choice and uh, you can choose the color as per your presentation, theme color, uh, whatever you uh, whatever you are using so it depends on you your choice so whole customization options are available on right hand side menu so guys you can do lot more uh, experiment uh, with this pie chart so you can give a better look and feel uh, with the help of uh, a very good color combination so that will add a, a value in your presentation and your presentation will rock Guys, we have lots of options, chart style, pie chart, so we can set, we can use all these properties to customize our pie chart. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you think this video is useful for you and your friends, so please like this video and share with your friends. And guys, uh, if you want such more useful videos on my channel, so please subscribe my channel and keep watching Cool IT Help for new upcoming videos. Bye-bye.